Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so thrilled to finally be doing this panda bear makeup tutorial. Oh my gosh, this is a look I did two years ago. I absolutely loved it, but then of course I didn't film it as I was creating it. So this year I decided to film it and try it again and I also included how I did these little like buns. They're like little panda bear ear buns. Um, I'm not a hair person at all, but it's pretty fun and sloppy. This whole costume, honestly, is something that you can just throw together. I have a black tank top on and just a big furry jacket. Honestly, you could wear it like a sweater or a sweatshirt. This is a great costume if you have like no plans to go out and all of a sudden you change your mind and you want to just throw together a Halloween costume. A lot of it's in the makeup, so you can just kind of mix and match the costume to match. So I hope you guys are excited and let's get started. So to make this as easy as possible, I already went in with my foundation and brows and I'm starting to bake as we go into the eyeshadow. I'm using the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I thought it was perfect because it's so beautiful and they have some awesome cool tones. So I'm using Twig, Slate, Noir, Cyborg, and Pearl mainly today. Starting off with the shade Twig, I'm going to use that as my base color to build my other colors on. So as you can see, I'm first placing it down. It's a little pigmented, so I'm blending it out with a fluffy brush from Lancome. Once it is blended out to my liking, I'm going on with the same brush using the shade Slate. It's that beautiful gray color and blending those two colors together. Once those base colors are blended out to my liking, that is when I go in with the shade Noir. It's that black shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking that on a smaller blending brush from Morphe. As you can tell, I really want my eyes to be round, especially since panda bear eyes are typically rounder. So that's why I'm kind of going in this arc, almost rainbow shape with my brush. I will first put that color down using that smaller, a little bit more like controlled blending brush. And then once I feel like the color is as pigmented as I would like, then I go in with that Lancome blending brush just to smooth everything out and make it look really soft. I always love to build my shadows, so what I will do is repeat these steps as many times as I find necessary until my eyeshadow is as pigmented as I would like and also as blended as I would like too. Kind of hard to tell in these steps, but what I'm doing is I'm taking that gray slate color and I'm just placing that in the inner corner and outer corner of my eye and blending that up where we had that darker, almost black line. This kind of gives a nice ombre effect, so it's not as contrasty as having a black line and then also having your lighter colors underneath. Afterwards, I'm popping on that pearl pigment towards the inner part of my eye in the middle. I'm also going in with the shade Cyborg on top of that, just to make it have more of a silvery, cool-toned effect. I like to tie the look in underneath my eyes as well, so I will go in with the shade Slate and Noir underneath my eyes, just so it matches the top part. Now that the eyeshadow is done, I will dust away my baggage and go into my lipstick. Both of the lipstick shades I'm using are from CoverGirl. They have a matte white lipstick and, and also a black lipstick that has some shimmery in it. I will link the names of it down below, but I'm going in with the white lipstick first just to kind of give my lips a base since I don't want them to have any color. I want this black lipstick to be pigmented. You don't have to use two. I just wanted it to look more pigmented and I happen to have both. So first going in with that white lipstick again as a base and then going in with the black lipstick on top of that. Black lipstick is a little tricky so be careful when you're lining your lips because it's very easy to make it look like it's uneven or even overdrawn. Now it's time for the nose. I'm using a liquid liner from Stila. This is one of my favorites. When I'm doing the nose, what I like to do first is draw a just straight line across the top and then kind of create a triangle. So I'll go underneath my nose and kind of connect the dots if you will. Then once I have my triangle outline, that is when I go in and just shade in the inner part of my nose. I found that if I hold the pen at an angle and use like the thick side of it, it's easier and much quicker to fill in my nose as opposed to just using the fine tip. Another step you don't need to do, but it kind of helps to add some depth, is I'm going back in with that slate gray shade on a fluffy brush and just kind of slightly contouring my nose. This just kind of helps tie some of those cooler shades in, especially since we're not gonna do a contour or blush or anything like that. For highlight, I'm actually using the exact same pearl shade from the Sultry palette, and I'm just dusting that lightly across my nose, my cheekbones, chin, anywhere that are like the high points of my face. I really want those to pop. 
I really wanted to open up my eyes a little bit more, so I'm taking this white eyeliner from Lancome, and I'm just putting that in the inner corner and along the waterline of my eyes, again, just to make them look a little bit bigger and a little bit more cartoony. After that, I am popping on some false lashes. I'm using the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. They are my favorite, mainly because they are so dramatic, but I feel like they really tie this whole look together. And now it's time for the hair. So, warning, I don't know how to do hair and I'm really bad at it, but I feel like this look is kind of sloppy anyways, so it kind of fits. What I'm doing is I'm taking my hair into two different pieces and I'm basically creating two ponytails with the two different pieces. You can part your hair in the middle, but mine just naturally parts to the side, so I kind of just left that. So I create two ponytails and then I kind of just like tuck it under. I'm really bad at explaining this, but I kind of just tuck it under and pull at it and try to create these bigger buns. So you kind of twist the ponytail um, and then you just kind of pull pieces apart to make it kind of look bigger and sloppy. I really wanted to have these kind of big dramatic hair like ears and I feel like I got exactly what I was hoping for. And after that, you're all done. See, super easy, and I feel like it's totally wearable, especially if you weren't planning on going to a Halloween party, but were going to very last minute and had no idea what to do. This is something that's super easy and very user-friendly, and you can change it up too, depending on your ability. Thank you all so much for watching my Panda Bear makeup tutorial. If you loved it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.